Last time on Sailing Edis, we cleared customs in Montenegro after three nights at sea and made our way up the coast towards the famous UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Bay of Kator. We are in just in the Bay of Kator and it is fairly overrun by tourist boats. I mean, we're tourists, but there is tourists and there's tourists. into the Bay of Couture. We'd heard a lot about a famous blue cave nearby, along with some other sea caves. So we decided to head over in our dinghy in the evening in the hopes of checking it out without a thousand other tourist boats around. Another blue cave. So we kind of were anchored about one and a half miles north of here um, because it's really really deep water everywhere around these caves and we've just done the tender trip which took us about 20 minutes with the three of us in here and um, got back around here to have a look a bit later in the day when we came back earlier there was just there was probably about five of these tourist boats inside here and well, once this guy goes we're about the only one left we headed for Razan, a town deep in the bay that we had heard was much less frequented by tourists. On our way we were treated to stunning man-made and natural scenery, including the infamous Mamula Fortress, renowned for its use as a concentration camp during Nazi occupation, and islands boasting churches dating back to the 13th century. In the vicinity of Our Lady of the Rock, the island that arose from the deep sea by the effort of men, lies St George, an island of entirely different nature and destiny. Ooh. The only trace of people on the island is the Benedictine monastery from the 12th century. Ha! Yes! There was a monastery and an abbey in the same place. Uh, most of the island is occupied by a cemetery in which are buried the inhabitants of Parast and countless other cities in the bay. Empty of human life and voice of the living, the island received by the people a gloomy name, the Island of the Dead.
Bye bye. So, Brenton, what do you think? It was a good meal. Very good meal. These guys went to shore. What town are we in? Risen. Risen. Went to shore in Risen and got what is arguably the best food mm -hmm. that we have eaten so far in Montenegro. Oh, definitely. Like in terms of bought food. The fish was amazing. Sea bass. We've got a whole sea bass. A whole sea bass. Yum. We had some spicy Roast vegetables. roasted grilled vegetable mm. things. I didn't have any of the calamari. How was the calamari, guys? The calamari was delicious. Caesar salad. Caesar salad was lovely. And a very, very local dish. Chips and shvatshi. But the guy was really friendly. And he was saying that what food we shouldn't have because it wasn't fresh enough. I really wanted mussels. He said we should come back tomorrow for mussels. And he, and he came back after I paid and he was asking because he realised we were Australian. And he collects foreign currency and he wanted to have a well he actually wanted a one dollar one or two dollar note but we don't have those we don't have those he doesn't collect coins <laughs> so can. only note the only note we have on the boat is a ten, ten Australian dollar note so we're so. going to take that to him and and uh yeah okay. he was a good guy yeah ten dollar note just blew off of the seat here oh god into the water Great. Kate dive, dove in. She happened to be wearing bathers. <laughs> yes! We have a winner! This yes. is 10 Australian dollars. Whoa. It's all I have from the boat. All. It's everything. It's for you. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. What are we doing tomorrow, kids? Croatia. Time to go to Croatia in the morning. Leave Montenegro. Yeah. 20 miles to Kaptat, up the coast, into Kaptat, anchor in the bay. That's right, no marines till the 13th when we pick up my parents. That'll be good, so how many days would that be? Making our morning tea coffee on our sail from Montenegro to Croatia. Uh, and some, we've got some strudel, cooking in the oven. It's gonna be delicious. again. Yeah, Brenton has once again been press ganged into the military. The Croatian military this yeah. time. He's been gone for ages. Everyone else has left. Yeah. It's just so, us just waiting us. on the boat.
Good morning, Glenn. Good morning. Good morning, Gretchen. Good morning. So who wants to tell us where we are? We are going into the Dubrovnik Harbour. So we have to go under this crazy bridge. Our first bridge. Because tomorrow, yeah, my parents are going to Eyebrows required. Oh, so Claire, what are we doing? We are waiting for my parentals. We've cleaned up the boat, it's all bloody beautiful again. They were meant to be, what's the time now? It's got to be up to two. One, uh, one fifty. Oh, one fifty. <laughs> I'm like already sick of waiting and they're not even meant to be here yet. <laughs> uh, so yeah, just waiting for them and then we can head off and get back to an island. It should be nice. Where are we going? We are going to Milliet. Is that how you say it? Is that how you say it? I think that's what that guy said before. Milliet. Yeah. Milliet. Or, as the Aussies say, meal jet. <laughs> we call it meal jet. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so we'll be heading there tonight or this afternoon, hopefully, to catch up with a couple of um, people we met from Adelaide as well who have also bought a boat and will hopefully meet up at an anchorage there. And that would be pretty exciting. Close tired today. Unfortunately, I'm feeling a bit off today. So I'm probably going to seem super unenthusiastic about seeing my parents. I am enthusiastic, I just feel a bit off. Yes. How excited are you to see your parents? 110. That's a monastery. That's a monastery. It's for monks. And Abbey is for nuns. Haven't you ever seen the sound of music? Have you seen? In awe of the bells. Who's being close up here? Both of you. Look in awe. <laughs> no crying. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, an eagle. <laughs> Tonight is our last night on board with just the three of us. Until because tomorrow. Yeah, my parents are on board. Eyebrows required. Mm. Why do we need to do the eyebrows? Because we don't know how. I like it. Jenny and Dave. That's not what you told us yesterday. <laughs> just because the camera's out, it doesn't mean you, like, you have to tell the truth. The camera is truth. <laughs> 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 Chat at your wedding, and I didn't have a really good chat with your mum, but maybe I should have. Baby, should have. Sorry, sorry everybody. Just to let everyone know, Kate hits on people's dads. 